diffusion of responsibility, you know, in the chain of command. It's like it's like you know you have the the president who issues the order and all the all the generals and uh, and exactly and. and, and and commanders all the way down to the soldier that actually does it. And so who's responsible? I would say everyone's responsible, but yeah, you're right. More responsibility lies with the, with the order follower because he changes that from words into reality causes mm-hmm. immediate suffering. And, uh, and so, yeah, definitely the idea that, you know, that there exists sociopaths that are attracted to positions of power should not be a surprising thing. People have this idea of the benevolent, um, compassionate, kind-hearted public servant. You know, I right. go into this office of of power to serve people. <laughs> I'm using your money for you. I'm serving. I'm not. I'm not ruling over you. I'm representing you. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. It's just amazing how um, people tend to think that how you know it's like you know the argument that like people are, are evil, right? And need to be controlled. But then again. The kind of people that want to control other people <laughs> are the people who are who are attracted to positions of power. People say, "I don't know what's your political stance." I'm like, "No, I'm not. I don't have a political stance. I have an apolitical stance." No. I know. I, we, we talk about you know human action, economics, morality, agorism, homeschooling, unschooling. You know, these are not political stances. And you know, all, all we're looking for, the way I look at it, is you know logical consistency, right? Principles. Yes. And once you logical figure consistency, once you figure out those principles. You know, you don't need anything else. You know, you know, it, it doesn't. It doesn't matter what other people do. It doesn't matter what their gender, race, nationality, um, a religion. It doesn't matter what any of that is, right? Because we're all just human beings. And if it's murder here, it doesn't matter if you travel an ocean away. You have a person who's uh, an individual, no special superhuman rights. <laughs> then, you have, <laughs> then you have another person who's an agent of the state with sovereign immunity and protection from. Uh, you know, the effects of their actions, who's in an obvious, um, you know, um, role of power over the individual. And mm-hmm. when there's a problem, you blame the individual. You know, I don't always like to say, like, you know, the government attacked you. These are agents, people, yeah, acting yeah. Under, people acting under this banner called government. These are agents of the state. In the that shadow believe, hand. That believe that they are superhuman and they can just you know, burst into people's homes and beat up people for no particular reason mm-hmm. and, or just because they felt uh, threatened by a person, <laughs> you know, that we should beat him up just for his own sake. Like, you know, I used to say I'm more anarcho-capitalist, but now I just mm-hmm. say anarchist because because I don't even think that we need to specify all that much, you know, because I like the idea yeah. of volunteerism. Just, you know, all, all, all we need, to, you, know, you know, just dispel this idea of statism, you know, no... Um, you know, there's no such thing as a legitimate government or a legitimate ruler. And then after mm-hmm. that, after we get to that place, live how you want. <laughs> you yeah, know, exactly. As long as you're not hurting anybody, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't right? matter what religion you believe. You know, when I'm talking to people, I figure out, you know, are you a decent human being with morals? You know, a morality, mm-hmm. a conscience and a moral compass. And if you are, it doesn't really matter what you believe. You know, you can, uh, you know, Muslim mm-hmm. or Christian or Jewish or whatever. It doesn't matter because maybe some people need this idea of God to be good Mm -hmm. and they Mm -hmm. need that and that's fine because and then somebody else says, no, that's that's horrible. That's ridiculous. I'm just I'm an atheist and I'll I'll be good or I'm a volunteer. I'm just good because I understand universal laws of morality. Good. So Mm -hmm. both have the same outcome. So it doesn't matter (laughs) how people got there. Right. The idea of government school is uh an it, it, you know people think you know you got to send your kid to school for the socialization right no mm-hmm. forced no. association is not socialization right so we see bullies and gangs in school and where else mm-hmm. do you see them in prison right and another area another environment of forced association right so the formation yeah. of bullies and gangs and violence is natural in in um environments where people don't want to necessarily be together they're forced to be together i don't think teachers are evil or you know trying to indoctrinate our kids and you know manipulating our kids you know Mm -mm. i I don't think all law enforcement officers are evil either no right but what i do think is that the system that they're operating in is inflexible is immoral right and mm-hmm. and that is why that is the foundation of it. So I'm not that. That's why I don't support anybody, you know, um, bombing, 
you know, government buildings or shooting cops or killing anybody because that's not the solution. You know, you're not dealing with the problem, which is a fundamental misunderstanding of morality, which is called statism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the yeah, problem. Exactly. That's the root of the problem, right? So, yeah, exactly. So sure, it might feel good to, to, to punch the bully, but, you mm -hmm. know, th 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 this is where the analogy doesn't really go far enough because the idea of, uh, of, uh, of statism is... Um, why are these people in positions of power? Because we have created them. Because people think that they're necessary mm -hmm. for civilization. 